a Jamaican movie on Netflix, a Jamaica singer on The Voice, and you can support both online. You need to figure out how to get tweeting and we'll talk about that in our how-to segment. And we're gonna have so much more about the latest console finally out and available. As I mentioned that and so much more on Intech. It's been a minute, but we are here on Intech. Give us 15 minutes and we'll give you all the important deeds across the globe and across our shores this week. No fluff, no foolishness, just the real deal with me, Carlette. That said, let's get right to it. It's time for our app of the week. Here is my new addiction and I'm sure soon to be yours too. Bitstrip. This cute little app shows art novices how to design cartoon versions of themselves and their friends and to add all of the characters into small comic strips called bit strips. The app is free on iOS and Android devices. Just download and start designing your personal avatar using the wide range of options available. Once you've perfected your cartoon version of yourself, design an avatar for your friend and then share it with the whole wide world. There are a wide range of physical characteristics to manipulate. I dare you to create a true representation of yourself. Not a bleached version. <laughs> you can place your avatar into more than 10,000 pre-prepared comic strips. Bitstrip seamlessly links to your Facebook for easy sharing with close friends or the whole wide world depending on your preferences. Millions of us, and I do mean millions of us, are using Bitstrips to reflect our mood or to send messages. Show off your creativity with captions, witty captions, or biting dialogue thanks to these cute little conversation bubbles, like that one. <laughs> the app is visual and fun and free, but let me keep it real. On mobile devices, the app is very slow. <laughs> like many apps, it's easy to manipulate on the web. And now for our how-to topic. Tessan is doing to make a proud on The Voice, which airs right here on RETV. Votes are important to her success. So are iTunes purchases. But if you don't have access to a US line or a US based iTunes account, you can still support Tessan via Twitter. Signing up for Twitter is both easy and free. So basically you have no excuse. From your smartphone, tablet or laptop, visit twitter.com in the browser and click on sign up. Yeah, that easy. Enter some basic information like your name, your email address, and what you want your Twitter handle to be. A Twitter handle can be your name, a nickname, or a phrase that represents you and is denoted by a use of an at symbol. Tessan's Twitter handle is at Tessan. Like Tessan, my Twitter handle is also my name, at Carlette Delion. But you, you can get creative. Sean Paul's Twitter handle is at Dotty Paul. Conscience uses the handle Conscience Soldier and Lady Saw uses Lady Saw DH Queen. Just know that once set, a handle cannot be changed. So choose well. Respond quickly to the confirmation email that you are sent and feel free to download the free app to your smartphone to make it easier to tweet on the go. Also, make sure to mention Tessan in your tweets by using her handle. A mention is when you say at and the handle. Or better yet, start a conversation about her online using a hashtag. Hashtags are the pound symbol before a short phrase and it tracks a conversation to let us know what's trending. So, hashtag Tessan is hot. <laughs> if you need help, why don't you send us a tweet at RETV Jamaica. Like I said, signing up for Twitter is a free way to show your support of Tessan internationally. So keep it real and get tweeting. Welcome back to Intech. The hottest game console for the season is not the Nintendo Wii U. 
I tell you, it's not even the PS4. The hottest game console is... Well, to find out what the hottest game console is, I spoke to gaming expert Gregory Moore from Straight Games. He gave me all the digits. We're on location at Straight Games in Sovereign, and we're here with the CEO, Gregory Moore, joining us. Hello. Hi, Carlett. How are you doing? We're good. We're good. And I'm loving the store. I'm loving the fact that I'm seeing different things. What's the most popular thing right now? Well, the most popular thing generally in gaming is, you know, the next-gen consoles, you know, everybody getting all hyped and excited about the next-gen next, next -gen consoles, PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. I didn't hear the Nintendo Wii U in there. Well, the Nintendo Wii U came out last year, so there was, you know, the hype has started, you know, well, well was started from the past, but, you know, everybody's just jumping on this PS4 and Xbox One thing. Yeah. So for those of us who haven't been able to buy any of those consoles yet, because we just can't afford it or they're not yet available, what's popular right now? Well, the game Call of Duty, um, that game just came out and it's on all platforms. So if you already own a PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 or a Nintendo Wii U, you can come and get Call of Duty. Um, you know, we have games like Splinter Cell, you have FIFA 14, you know, Jamaica loves football. So we have the FIFA 14, you have Battlefield 4, which is a contender for Call of Duty. So, you know, you have some things here that you can come get. And if it is, I can't afford a brand new game. What else do you have for me? Well, we do sell pre-owned games and we also offer a trading service. So you can trade in your games that you're, you've completed. Um, you get store credit and the store credit will be subtracted from the game that you want to purchase. So if you have an old copy of, you know, like a Modern Warfare 2 or, you know, Black Ops 2, bring it in, we give you some credit and you get a discount on whatever game you want to get in the store. That's pretty cool. So far we've spoken about consoles, traditional consoles for your living room, but what about handheld consoles? What's going on? Well, in the handheld world, there's, you know, there are a few options, you know, I know, I know you're a mobile phone lover and a tablet lover, but for persons who just have gaming at heart or, you know, parents who want to give their children something to play, but not nothing too expensive, you can get like a, a Nintendo 3DS, which is a pretty popular handheld. I think it's the most popular handheld right now. And, you know, new Pokemon just came out. So all the Pokemon fanatics, you know, rushing to get their copies of Pokemon. And for persons who want a little more hardcore gaming, they have the PlayStation Vita system. So, you know, there's some options for handheld. So I didn't hear the Game Boy in there. Well, the Game Boy console has been discontinued. The Nintendo DS is what took over from the Game Boy, but we still we still have Game Boy stuff here because we not only sell the new stuff, we also have some class classic stuff in the store. So you can come and get your Game Boy stuff as well. So I can get my console, I can get my handheld console, I can get my games. What about accessories? Well, we do stock a wide variety of accessories and without accessories, you know, your gaming experience is, you know, kind of dull. So we have controllers, we have headsets for those persons who like playing online. We have, um, you know, just extra stuff, batteries, chargers, whatever you need for your consoles. You know, a lot of people tend to trip over cards. We give you cardless solutions for your consoles and we have carded stuff so all right worst case scenario i can't afford any kind of console but i want to play the game do you have an option for that as well <laughs> um we have we have if you want to get a gaming experience you just want to you know pass some time we do have some racing simulators here so you can come to straight games um we do it on a weekend now um and you know you can let us know that you want to get your game on and we'll just set you up and you can come play for a few minutes. Okay. Well, let's take it back. Where did the concept of Straight Games come from and why did you decide to set up at this location? Well, the concept of Straight Games came about because um, we wanted to find, well, I personally, I, I was born a gamer. I've um, been playing games all my life, but you had to wait until the holiday times, you know, wait for somebody to travel or what kind, you know, to get your stuff. And, you know, when they came to Jamaica, they're still on the expensive side. So I just wanted to pro provide a solution where persons could get stuff, you know, from high end to low end just to fulfill that gaming need. And um, Sovereign Centre is pretty much one of the more popular malls in Jamaica and in Kingston on a whole and you know it's a perfect location you have a lot of persons that come and hang out you know parents think it's safe it's you know a clean environment and it just provides for the perfect location to have something like this and your opening hours are well we open from 8 um from sorry we open from 
11 a.m. and we close at 8 p.m. on in the evenings and on weekends we go up till nine o'clock. So you can you don't have to rush from work. You know, you just give us a call, let us know you come in, and more than likely we'll be open for you. Okay, so there are girls into games too. There's no denying that. But let's be real. Let us say I'm looking for a game for some special someone who happens to be male. What's what's hot for Christmas? If I walk in and I say I need to get the hottest thing for Christmas, what is it? Well, depending on the console that you have, if you if you already have a console, um, I would suggest get Call of Duty um, or a FIFA title, you know, because, it, because of how popular they are. Um, you know, if you're looking for next gen, um, we, the thing about straight games is that we kind of ask you what, you know, the person that you're buying something for, we kind of ask you some questions so we know exactly what to recommend because you have the Mario lovers, you have the persons that love titles like God of War, you have persons that are just connect fanatics you know i'm speaking to one right now um <clears throat> so after you know we give you a little interview then we could recommend something for you but we do have solutions for all of those needs you say you're speaking to one right now but really <laughs> gaming expert or no if you had the choice between the nintendo wii u that has its, its own handheld console built in the playstation 4 which has reported problems with the blue light of death or the xbox one that's really more than a game console but rather an entertainment system which would you choose well trying to not work with the bias that I've been presented with. Um, <laughs> I own a Nintendo Wii U because I'm a Nintendo fanboy, but for hardcore gaming, I personally would choose the Xbox One simply because it's coming out with more original titles than the PlayStation 4. PlayStation 4, to me, is a sequel console. So there's a part three of this, a part four of this, part five of this, things that I'm already used to. So the Xbox One kind of presents some new stuff for people to try out. So me personally, I'll go with the Xbox One. In spite of the bias, you see? Because I was on the right track. You are definitely a gaming expert. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's wonderful to be here at Straight Games right here in Sovereign Center talking to Gregory Moore, CEO, and now I appoint him gaming expert. It's now time for the new challenge. Are you ready for this one? I want to see your best picture or video of you and your friends doing cartwheels. That's right, cartwheels, right? The most imaginative, the most fun, the most engaging picture is going to earn the person who took the picture a prize. More on that next week. You can send your pictures to us via Facebook or Twitter and just use the hashtag #RealSocialChallenge, which of course you know how to do because we spoke about Twitter. That's it for today's show. Remember, however, to tune into our sister station, RJR94FM, for even more tech topics on Tech for Life. That airs every Wednesday morning at 8.15. And we'll be back right here next Thursday evening at 7.30 for InTech. I'm Carlette, encouraging you to get out and get real in technology.